In this video, we will discuss the Management Zone Editor. With this editor, you will be able to assign productivity zones to a field to assist with queries, analysis, and future management decisions. With this tool, you are able to choose any map that you have available as a reference layer, such as grain harvest or an image, to define your management zones. Existing zones can also be changed and updated using the tools available in the editor. To begin, create a new map that you intend to reference to create your management zones. Before we begin creating these zones, ensure the number of legend ranges that you have in your reference map is the number of zones you wish to create. Let's change our legend to have three ranges. Double click the legend and reduce the number of ranges to three, then click OK. Now let's go to the file menu and select new, then management zone layer. The management zone editor will now appear with a reference layer on the mapping window. To create zones based on the map, select create zones under special tools on the right. Confirm this reference layer and select OK. On the next window, you will assign the productivity zones based on the reference layer. These can be assigned up to seven different zone productivities. Very high, high, medium high, medium, medium low, low, and very low. After you have your zones assigned, you will select the minimum size of your zones if the reference layer is log data, such as grain harvest or planting data. If left on auto, the minimum size will be based on the size of your field according to the chart that you see here. When fixed is selected, you will set a fixed zone size dependent on the field size. After selecting the minimum size option, select OK and your zones will be generated. If you would like to reassign any of the zones, you can use the Assign Zones tool under Action Tools and then select the zone you would like to assign in the Assign Zones legend. Then click on the polygon in the map you would like to reassign. When you have your zones all assigned to their desired value, select Save at the bottom and save it to your management tree. Additionally, you have an option to create zones based on imagery. To create zones based on an image, create a new map of the image that is saved to your management tree. Then go to the file menu, select new, then management zone layer. The management zone editor window will now appear with a reference layer on the mapping window. From our special tools menu, choose generate zones from image. Select OK. Select dataset layer and ensure that you can see the reference layer you started with when you created a map for your reference layer. First, we have our image settings. Smoothing factor changes how much or how little the pixels of the image blend together. This reduces the amount of color changes when selecting zones, especially manually. Grayscale removes all the color from the image and instead shows a gray color gradient to help further reduce the color change noise. Next, we have zone generation settings. Auto allows the software to evaluate the interior image area of the boundary, and then it uses the number of zones selected in the dropdown to evenly divide the area into the number of selected zones. The other option available is manual. This option will allow the user to select the specific colors in the map to group the zones. Selecting this in a progressively lighter or darker progression can help in assignment of the zones after they are mapped. To select different colors, place the cursor over the desired color and right click. This will place a number on the map as a reference. One thing to note with the zones option, when you have selected manual for the selection option, you can assign all the ranges manually, or you can set this number to five and select four points in the image, and the software will use the fifth zone for any extra noise that is outside of the selected color ranges. The grid scale option will determine the dimensions of the edges of the zones created. 
This will scale as you zoom in or out. So depending on your settings, when you select create zones, it may adjust if you change your zoom level. With minimum areas selected, you can reduce the number of small areas within the final layer. Larger fields, you may want to set a minimum area of one acre while smaller fields will usually work well with a minimum area of half an acre. Zoom to field boundary ensures that the whole field is classified in zones. If you have zoomed into a portion of the field and do not have this selected, it will only create zones for the area you are zoomed into. This is meant to provide high resolution for the areas of particular interest visible in the image. Now we are going to select our zones. We will select manual and three zones. Next, right click on the image in three areas with different colors. I would like the software to reference to base the zones off of. At this point, if the zones are not quite what you would like, you can click reset and go through the process again. Click okay. And now you can save your zones to the management tree in either the year you have referenced or no year to use year after year. You have now learned how to assign productivity zones to a field based on as applied in image data, and also how to reassign management zones. If you would like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.